Hey, I'm Justin from Filmora.io. Have you ever wondered how other people's travel videos look so amazing? It's all in the B-roll. You're gonna learn how to make your videos more engaging by using a variety of different shots. Wide shots, close-ups, transition shots, and dynamic shots. And I'm gonna show you how to get the very best shots to tell your story. I am super excited that I finally made it to Stanley Park in Vancouver. It's actually one of the world's largest urban parks, so I think naturally this would be a good place to come film today. So, what is B-roll? B-roll is additional shots that will help you tell your story. So, I don't want to see myself just talking to my camera the whole time, because that kind of gets a little bit boring. I want to see what I'm actually talking about. Right now, I'm heading to find some totem poles, because totem poles are very iconic to British Columbia, so I know that I'm gonna wanna to film these and get some coverage on them. And what coverage is, is the same subject, filming the same subject, but from multiple angles. So this means that I'm gonna get a wide shot, a medium shot, and a close-up of the same subject, just to show a little bit of diversity of the environment. And this will help your audience really get captivated of where you are and actually feel like they're there too. This is awesome. This is exactly what I was looking for. We have totem poles. So right now, I'm gonna be setting up for my wide shot that I'm gonna be getting. That's gonna be the first shot that I'm gonna get here. I really like cutting to wide shots because it really establishes the environment and it shows you where you are. And then you can cut into close-ups to show like the texture and, and the character of, of whatever you're shooting. Okay. So I am gonna start rolling now, and I'm actually gonna give myself a couple different options with this wide shot. I'm just gonna stand back for, give myself probably 10 seconds, just in case I really wanted to hold on it a long time, or if I wanna fade in another shot, I have plenty of room for that. Okay, so I feel that's about 10 seconds. That's good. And then as an option for some camera movement, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna tilt down. So I'm gonna start from the sky, I'm gonna roll, and then tilt down to find the totem poles. That's always a really nice shot to kind of bring you into a new location, a tilt down. Cool, there's my wide shot. Okay, now onto close-ups. So I just moved from my wide lens to the close-up lens to get a couple close-ups of some of the faces of these totem poles. And I actually moved the camera from where I was in the wide position about 30 degrees to the right. If you shoot your close-up, from the same place that you shot your wide, it's just gonna be a jump cut and it's gonna look awkward. So always move your camera at least 30 degrees to the right or left. So between the totem pole and my camera, I have a bush here and I call that foreground because when I'm looking at my frame here, I can actually see the bush, but it's really out of focus. It adds a little bit of depth to what the shot is. So when you have the basic shots of your scene already covered, just feel free to have fun with it. An experiment, use a different lens, use a different camera. For me, I'm using the Osmo, and this is a camera stabilizer. If you wanna know more about this, we have another episode on that, so check that out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm looking at these totem poles and I wanna see them from a different perspective. So I'm gonna, I wanna go a little bit lower and add a little bit of camera movement to it. And that gives the totem poles a little bit more power to them. They feel more majestic. We'll see how that turns out. Transition shots are really important to think about when you're making a travel video. You want to think of it as a story. How are you clearly communicating to your audience what you're doing and where you're going? So, when you're traveling, naturally, you're moving. Sometimes you're on a plane, sometimes you're on a train, sometimes you're just walking through the woods. Show that. That'll really help give your viewers a little bit of context of where you are and what you're doing. One transition shot that I find that I use quite a bit is actually this shot right here. I film myself just walking through the woods and another one that I really enjoy using is actually filming my feet. When traveling, I think it's really important to have a plan and to kind of know what you're doing throughout the day. But it's also important, in my opinion, to be a little bit spontaneous. I wouldn't have found this spot if 
if I wouldn't have taken an hour out just to go exploring. I know today I have some certain things that I know I need to go see, but it's also important just to kind of be where you are and be present. I don't always need to be filming myself. Sometimes you need to put the camera down and just go explore. I can't wait to see how you use these tips in your videos. Share a link to your video at filmora.io. Ask questions, get feedback, and meet other creators. Filmora.io is your YouTube creator community.